We're going to go get the puppy. You ready? I'm ready for the car ride. Oh, yeah. My sunglasses. Hopefully, there's three hours. It goes like quick as three hours. <laughs> You didn't tell me it was three hours. Yeah, it's like th it's three hours. I got my camera back. And I'm waiting Snorlax so I could take a, a nap on this three hour car ride. What in the world? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? And me too. The broadcast. Nah, put the volume down. His teammates. Why are we talking to me like that, yo? <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. What you doing? We're gonna record everything we're doing today. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, we are. Oh no, you're not. Oh yeah, it's gonna oh, be no, a fun not. trip. Oh no, you're not. Yup, sir. No, vlog this. It's called making memories. Make these <laughs> you said 189. Huh? 189 miles. And we are. We're currently driving to Pennsylvania to pick up an adorable little German Shepherd. He's so cute. We're gonna surprise my boyfriend's mom with the puppy. And by we, I mean his dad and him. I'm just coming for the ride. Look at how adorable. What's his name? Kane. Kane? Like, like the Undertaker's Kane brother. Kane is able. Can we like, the like, like the Undertaker's brother, Kane. Yes. Like That's the... his name. How old is he? <laughs> <laughs> Seven weeks eight, old? Eight. eight weeks old. He comes from an Amish town, which is why we're driving all the way to Pennsylvania, and we're buying him from a breeder. Me personally, I rescue and adopt all my pets, but this is really cool because you know exactly what you're getting, you know exactly what you're paying for. More often than not, your dog ends up living a longer lifespan because of that. It's pretty cheap. The dog was like 300 bucks, which is different from COVID prices. How much is it? Did Mark lie about it? Share the tea. Mark said he was like 300. So I just looked at it now. It's four ninety five. Four ninety five. That's yeah. not bad. Victor's making it sound like he's like three thousand dollars. Four ninety five is not bad. That's a good thought, price because during COVID was, they were three seventy five. Three seventy five. I thought he was three seventy five, but he's four ninety five. You said like $300. Adding $75 to that is still a big difference. But $4.95 is really not a bad price. During COVID, German Shepherds were like above $1,000, $2,000. They still are? So why is he so, why is he cheap? Because he's coming from the Amish. Because he's coming from the Amish. You see, because that's the key. All they, do, all they do is breed dogs. That's their main source of income. Their main the source of income there. is breeding dogs? Yeah, a lot of them. Okay. So, they have a lot of different sources of income. I'm gonna hand the camera to my boyfriend. He knows about this a lot more than I do. Like I said, I literally go to shelters. <laughs> I literally go to shelters to get all my pets, and if not a shelter, I rescue them how many pets you from got, terrible Alex? such situations. How many how, pets how many, do I have? How, how, how many pets you got? Okay, I've had a lot throughout my life, how but right now I have got? three. I have three. Chiquita, and she's like 16 years old. She's a small teacup Yorkie. I have Taboo, who's a black cat that is turning four years old in October. And Nico, his birthday just passed. He's six. What is Nico? Nico is a Shih Tzu and a Maltese mix. Tell her those two dogs that you named are a dog. No, they're dogs. They're cousins of the rat. Just because you have these ridiculous canines does not mean that my adorable little puppies are not dogs, Victor. That is discriminatory yeah, and breedist. That's breedist. Sizest. That's sizes too. Yeah, facts. <laughs> A rat. This is definitely how a rocket fell in the Guardians rabbit. of the Galaxy. The rabbit is correct and clearly the smartest among you. Rabbit? He's a raccoon. <laughs> dogs. Can you please tell our viewers a little bit more about dog breeders in the Amish? Let them know what you know because this isn't your first time doing this. You've taken this drive and you bought from this website before, so there you go. I actually bought from a different website. Okay, potato, potato. <laughs> I don't really know. To be honest with you, I mean, why do you trust this? That's guy? that's their, that's like their main source of income. I mean, at least from my perspective, I mean, I don't know. For the most part, it seems like they do it full time year round. They just breed specific types of dogs depending on what farm you're at. Sometimes they don't breed them that well, and sometimes they breed them very well. So it just really depends on which uh, breed you're getting it from. What should we expect when we get there? A farm. a farm that like doesn't even look like a man could make it. I guarantee you, the dude the son got a beard. No. Last time, he had a big top hat. Huge. That too. That's my Okay, favorite. so when it comes to actually talking about the dog, looking at the dogs, picking the dog, what can we expect? Dogs pick. The 
dog well, the, is picked already? The, the dog is picked, but we're gonna look at the rest of the dogs to make sure. I don't know if there's a better one. We might end up. Getting. I just want to see. I want to see the dog's gait. I want to see him walk. I want to see him run. What? If that dog looks scrawny or like malnourished, we're not getting it. So what are you looking for when you're picking a dog? I'm hoping it doesn't have no hip issues or anything like that. You're hoping what? Hip issues. Hip issues. Yes. Hip Baby. You can notice that because you remember Sam's um, German Shepherd that had the hip displacement. When I saw him, I told him, yo, he looks like he has a limp. They were like, no. Nah. Remember they took him home? He was running around. He was limping. He was, he was running and crying. So you definitely want to ask them if you can see the dog run and play around so that you yeah. know that they're healthy, yeah. that their form is good. Yeah. Anything else? Temper. Temper? How do you know if the dog is bad tempered off for it? Oh, well, you can tell. I'm more or less just looking for a dog that's not too crazy. Y'all want to be kind of calm, crazy home. not timid. I'm looking for like a calm, brave type of dog. One that's not scared of me, but one that's not overly too excited. That won't go too nuts. I feel like that's like a perfect puppy to pick. Highly trainable, but any German Shepherd you get is not any, but because there's really bad breeding sometimes. But German Shepherds are very easy dogs to train, and they're very owner pleasing. Great family dogs, more protective. Well, the more you speak, I feel like we should get two of them. You feel like you should get one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think you definitely should. Need, you need one in your house to protect the little teacups you got. I don't like this conversation. <laughs> 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 Let me ask you a question. If a burglar okay. breaks in your house, what's going to happen? If a burglar breaks into my house, I'm going to shoot them. Uh-huh. I'm going to shoot them with positive energy. Mama said you better not let me hit you with that chancleta. Yeah, le voy a tirar una chancleta. That's what I'm going to do. Well, they're going to punch your dog. First off, if a burglar comes into my house, I'm gonna know because my animals are going to alarm me. They're not for attacking, they're more for alarming. Oh, that's okay? alarming. Yes, alarming the burglar that they about to have a problem for coming into my house. Question with these little dogs and they park for everything. No, no, no. First they off, they bark for you're everything. Disrespecting them, so we're not gonna continue talking about them. They bark? Do they bark for everything? I don't know. This just feels like an attack. Cause then if I start talking about your dog, I'm wrong. You can talk. So I don't want to, though. He don't bark like that. And when he barks, you know he barks because you can feel it. Right, but he has a little bit of Are we going to go get food? Ooh, I don't know. I'm starving. I think we can find a better word for starving, right? A better word for, for starving. Let's play. Famine. Let's, let's play. You're what? Famine. You're famine. Oh, what's another? How else could you, you say I'm famished? hungry or I'm starving? I'm famished. You can't think of another word? What, being hungry? Yeah, those are the three I could think of. Starving, hungry, famished. Uh, the belly aches. Um, the belly aches. <laughs> <laughs> the belly aches. <laughs> I don't know. Where are we? Oh, you must yes. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Yes. We're at the hub. I'm getting it. I'm getting it all, Victor. Thick and fluffy. Ooh, French toast. What is this? Oh, I don't like French toast. Oh, forget you then. Yeah. French toast don't like you. Yes. Scratching the dome like you potato. Yes. No, you go first. I'm not sitting on the inside. Yeah, this is rude. How you do that shit like that? You need too much. She ain't getting no tip. Never gonna get no tip. Made on my mind. That's what he's so nerd. He's just annoying all the time. We're gonna get some food after we eat. We're gonna hit the room again. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm away for them to order. Thank you. Mama. You're welcome. You want another minute? Y'all ready? Colorado has all types of meat in it. Yeah, that's a good one. I eat that like two times. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Leave you nice and full. If you know, if you know. This is a classic old tip right here. You, you open it up and then you pour it inside. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Did you just drink it like... Yes. Thank you. You Heard about that? New York is shrinking. Sinking. We left IHOP about five minutes ago. We're on the highway. We're sitting in the back seat with Nino. How long do we have until we got there? Oh my god. Two hours. Oh my god. Find me my kids. Are we there yet? Yeah, two hours. Oh. Two hours with me. Get used to it. Okay.
Yeah. Hour and 53 minutes, all right? An hour and 53 minutes. Yeah. We'll check in if anything changes. Can you walk around for a little bit? Oh, sure. Sure. Hi. Hi, a little bit shy till we get to know you. Huh? You shaking. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're shaking. Well, it's just because he's, he's shy. Cold. He's yeah. not sure what's happening. <laughs> he's like, Mama, who's okay. going on? <laughs> Do you have puppies now? I have a one-year-old Malinois mix. Okay, you do. Yeah, and we did. We had a. a Okay, twins. Her husband came out so that we could be real boys' mom. Thank you so much. It's giving the ginormous change. She is gorgeous. Hi, pretty girl. I like her. Is it mama? We just picked up the adorable puppy. He hasn't whined ever since he's been in my arms. And now we're gonna take the three hour drive back home. <laughs> <laughs> 